Hey guys, so it looks like they did another thing and kind of released a special hero right at Christmas here, just kind of like the same thing they done on Thanksgiving. And I'm glad it's Lelina, because Sharina is actually the voice actress, so you're getting uh, legendary hero Lelina here. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this and see, you know, what type of hero this is right here. If it truly is the heavens that have given me this gift, oh man, she her art is great. Everyone's benefit. Yep, same voice actress as Sharina. Sounds good. She's a horse unit, and she can pair up with Roy. I'm gonna stop and rewind later to go over this, but right now I'm just kind of admiring the art and the ability to pair up. So definitely her being cavalry unit allows her to move further spaces. What should I do? Let's see. Oh, okay, she has blazing. So that's gonna help. I like that when she's casting the magic, it's so strong that it kind of pops her off of her seat. Okay, other heroes. We get Duma again. Peony. Celica. Ooh, I might roll for Celica, get a plus 10. Dimitri's so strong. Claude, Edelgard, Jill, Gatre, Plumeria, oh my god. Regan. Okay, and it's 8%, so this is actually good. It's gonna start on Christmas Day. Very nice. All right, we're gonna go back and I'm gonna review the skills here to see what they got. Sounds good. Okay, so study four plays. It actually uh, grants her an extra special trigger here. And if she is more than 25% HP, she gets attack and resist plus six and disable foes and units um, skills to change priority, which means probably her speed's gonna be really high. The plus attack resist, it's gonna mean that she's gonna be able to take out other mages, which is good. Gifted magic, this is a new ability. Before combat, this unit initiates foes and areas take damage equals to 0.8 times. Units attack minus foes defense or resist. So that's good. Um, they might change the text on that because it says foes defense or resist. It should say the lower of the two or something like that. Um, attack resist solo. So again, you're basing her on that anti-mage offensive unit. Sabotage resist. So lower the, the target's resistance. And pulse smoke three, which gives her that special cooldown and all foes special cooldown. Um, within two spaces. So it looks like she's gonna proc gifted magic a lot because it's only two and she gets a whole bunch of bonuses to the special trigger and she's gonna be an offensive firehouse. Now let's skip to the units here. So I think um, definitely Lelina Red. I believe she's a red tome, let's check. Yeah, she's a red tome. So red is actually really good because you get Regan, you get um, Lalina, you get Plumeria, right? And those are all fairly good units. So definitely they're they're really banking on you rolling red for this legendary hero banner. So I definitely recommend rolling red. I mean, the other colors aren't bad either. You have Gatry, Dimitri, um, Peony for blue, and you have Jill, Edelgard, and Celica for green, so that's not bad either. Um, I think weakest is colorless, right? Because these these two guys and Claude, meh. But definitely roll for red if you're going the spanner. They always try to make the color of the legendary hero the most attractive. So in this case, you need Reagan for that extra unit in ether raids and um, Plumeria is not bad either. She's a dancer and a flying dancer, so she can go over obstacles. And Lelina is pretty badass if you need an offensive anti-mage unit. So definitely recommend. If they're not a mage, you're probably just going to clobber them because of your high attack. All right, guys. That's it for today. Hopefully you guys like the reaction and analysis, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.